Had no need to fight Tonight, tonight Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the top 5 guns inside of Call of Duty Mobile. I know it's been a while since I last posted, but um, I've been pretty busy with life and everything, so I'm happy to get back into it. I'm not going to be doing regular uploads, but um, I will be uploading occasionally. Um, but yeah, so just coming in at the honorable mention spot, we've got the QQ9. The QQ9 has always been one of my favorite guns in the game. The fast-paced SMG, pretty fast fire rate, good movement, everything like that, and I think it's a very good gun. Uh, especially at close range however it just lacks a bit when it comes to other ranges which is why it's not really uh, a top five in my opinion for this season but yeah obviously still a viable option for those aggressive playstyles. Um, just before we get into the video make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already and also make sure to go ahead and join my discord link in the description let's get into it Coming in at the number 5 spot, we have the MAC-10. The MAC-10 is the perfect weapon for the aggressive playstyle. I'm talking about the players who rush headfirst into fights, go crazy with slides, strafing, all that type of stuff, and you come out on top. And if you want to come out on top, the MAC-10 is your best option. So the MAC-10 has a super fast fire rate, pretty fast, uh, a pretty high damage output, especially at those closer ranges. However, the iron side is a little bit limiting and the recoil is a little bit high. So it does take a little bit more skill to use this weapon, but if you're playing at those close to mid ranges, it gets the job done. One thing that is not very great about this gun is its lack of versatility. And that basically means that um you can't really kill people at long ranges. As I mentioned before, you got that crazy recoil, you got that <laughs> blocky iron sight. So while it's very good at close range, longer ranges just doesn't really get the job done. So it's not very versatile. Coming in at the number four spot, we have the SKS tied with the SVD. As far as I can tell, it's been multiple, multiple seasons and these guns haven't really received any major changes. So they've always been around the top five for what seems like an eternity now so yeah uh, as you know sks pretty low skill weapon two tap boom enemy dead svd most time you're going to be getting that one shot um sometimes you have to two tap but it's basically a sniper with a very very fast fire rate and that pretty much makes it op uh the one bad thing about the svd would be that it's um iron sight is pretty blocky um, and pretty obstructive in terms of your vision. So I would say that um, chuck on a six times or something like that to the SVD and you should be good to go. And in terms of the SKS, it's got a beautiful iron sight, very versatile. I absolutely love the SKS, but um, in the hands of a skilled player, it, it just shreds lobbies. And when your aim is on point, as I've always said, chuck on the SKS and you'll just destroy everyone in the lobby. Coming in at the number three spot, we have the Kilo 141. The Kilo is one of those high damage, low fire rate weapons. I'd say, I'd probably say it's the best assault rifle in the game. It's very, very consistent in my opinion. Um, because of that slow fire rate, it, it just feels really stable and it really just embodies everything that you want out of an AR. So with that really high damage output, you're obviously going to be getting those really good time to kills. And I think it's a very, very reliable weapon that is widely used in the comp scene. So I think that really speaks for itself. It's just, it's just a great weapon to use. It's never going to fail you. Um, no matter which map you use it on, no matter which situation, it's always going to clutch up. And that's why I love the Killer 141. I think it did receive a couple of nerfs. However, um, it hasn't taken it off the top three. So I think that that's, speaks bloody volumes about how good this weapon is. So yeah, um, that's the Killer at the number three spot. Coming in at the number two spot, we have the Peacekeeper. The Peacekeeper has been making a climb in the last few seasons. It's gone from one of the most underrated weapons to the game to now one of the most widely used weapons in the game and obviously one of the best weapons in the game. So I think that's attributed to a couple of balance changes and also just people just recognizing how good this gun is. So yeah, Peacekeeper is finally at the top. I think it's it's such a great AR to use. It's It feels really fast paced, especially compared to the Kilo 141. So if you're a bit more aggressive, I think the Peacekeeper will suit you there. Um, it's got a faster fire rate. It just feels, 
if we're talking about the feel of a weapon, it just feels light. Especially for an AR, it just feels very light. It feels like you're very mobile all the time. And that's what I absolutely love about this weapon. Chuck it into a game and you can never go wrong with it. Especially with that time to kill nowadays. It just feels absolutely great. Coming in at the number one spot, we have the Switchblade MX-9. You guys already know, bro. I don't know if you guys have used this weapon or not, but it just, oh my gosh, it shreds. It really does shred. Look at that fast fire rate. Look at that, basically no recoil, bro, especially if this gunsmith. Trust me, bro, use this gunsmith. The, link, the links will be in the uh, pinned comment down below, but it just, it just absolutely rips through your enemies. I, I don't understand, bro. Like, I come back to this game and suddenly the MX-9 is just crazy. Like, like literally beyond crazy. Look at this weapon. I, I, bro, nerf this thing. It's so good. It's actually so good. And it feels so clean. The movement is great. I'm so mobile. I can move, I can move so fast, get into a gunfight, get out of a gunfight, engage bloody four enemies at once. And I, I just feel great with this weapon. Honestly, look at that. Look at that, bro. Man sliding everywhere. And I still just laser him. Just laser them all, bro. And even though it's an SMG, it's still extremely versatile without sacrificing any of the mobility at all. Um, high damage output combined with a, f a high fire rate. I mean, pretty much just breathes for a high time to kill. So, bloody hell, this weapon is great. Uh, hopefully people don't abuse the crap out of it. But <laughs> assuming it's COD Mobile, everyone probably will. But yeah, that's going to be the top five weapons for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comment section below what your top five is or any differences you had with my list. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you in the next video. Cheers.